Hey everyone, today we're making loopable and cyclable inputs. So what is a cyclable input? This is, for example, when you have a boost mechanic that has various levels. So let's say you have three levels, fast, very fast, and supersonic. Each time you press the boost button, it'll cycle between these before resetting back to no boost. We can achieve this by simply using a variable that holds one singular value, like an integer. How we get this cycling functionality is by using a switch on int. This node uses the value of the provided integer input and find the corresponding execution pin. So if we wanted to click three times to alter our speed, then one more to reset the cycle, we'd want to click this four times. So after it's found the corresponding value, we're going to add our logic. Since this is a speed boost, on each one we're going to set the walk speed, which you can do by getting the character's movement from the components tab. After you set the speed, we're going to set that integer variable we use for the input of our switch node. What this is doing is making sure that the next time the switch node is ran, it's going to choose the next number instead of continuously picking the same one over and over again. So, if we're on 0, we're going to set the integer to 1. Then we're going to do this for the following levels, and making sure on our last one, we set it back to zero so that it loops back around. And that's pretty much it. We've now created a cyclable input. Thank you so much for watching. If this helped in any way, I'd really appreciate a like and dare I even say a subscribe. If you really liked this video and would like to support me, my Patreon is in the description.